We are looking at what I call the tragedy of evil report. The tragedy of evil report. That's what we are looking at here tonight. And it's going to take us into certain scriptures. About seven or eight of them. As we are taking those scriptures, I will be making some comments on the scriptures. Make sure you follow those comments carefully. The tragedy of evil report. In John chapter 12, John chapter 12, Gospel according to St. John chapter 12, I read from verse 37. John 12, 37. Are we there? So, but though he had done so many miracles before them, yet they believed not on him. Why? That the saying of Isaiah the prophet might be fulfilled, which is speak. Lord, who had believed our report, and unto whom have the arm of the Lord be revealed? Therefore they could not believe, because that Isaiah has also said again, they had blinded their eyes and hardened their hearts, that they should not see with their eyes, nor understand with their hearts, and be converted, and that I should heal them. In Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8, after Paul had been talking, 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 he now summarized Philippians 4, 8. So finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, most of our things are honest. Most of our things are just. Most of our things are pure. Whatsoever things are lovely. Whatsoever things are of good report. If there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Say, finally, brethren, say, allow your heart to be thinking of good report instead of evil report. Now, go back to the book of Genesis now. Now you have been introduced to reports and good reports. In Genesis 37, verse 2. These are the generations of Jacob. Joseph, being 17 years old, was feeding the flock with his brethren. And the lad was with the sons of Bilhah, and with the sons of Silpah, his father's wives. And Joseph brought unto his father their evil report. Their evil report was brought to their father. Not that. Now in the book of Nehemiah, chapter 6, verse 13. Nehemiah, chapter 6, verse 13. Therefore was he hired that I should be afraid and do so and sin, and that they might have matter for an evil report, that they might reproach me. Evil report has reproaching powers. Now in Numbers, Numbers chapter 13, which is actually our walking passage tonight. Numbers chapter 13, I read from verse 25. And they returned from searching the land after 40 days. And they went and came to Moses and to Aaron, and to all the congregation of the children of Israel, unto the wilderness of Paran, to Kadesh. And brought back word unto them and unto all the congregation and showed them the fruit of the land. And they told him and said, We came into the land whither thou sentest us. And surely it flowed with milk and honey. And this is the fruit of it. 28. Nevertheless, the people be strong that dwell in the land, and the cities are walled, are very great. And moreover, we saw the children of Anak there. The Amalekites were in the land of the south. And the Ethites and the Jebusites and the Amorites dwell in the mountains, and the Canaanites dwell by the sea and by the coast of Jordan. And Caleb still the people before Moses and said, Let us go up once and possess it, for we are well able to overcome it. But the men that went with him said, We be not able to go up against the people, for they are stronger than we. And they brought up an evil report of the land which they are searching to the children of Israel, saying, The land through which we have gone to search it is a land that eateth up the inhabitants thereof. And all the people that we saw in it are men of a great stature. And there we saw the giant, the son of Enoch, which came of the giants. And we were in our own sight as grasshoppers. 
and also wear in their side. Chapter 14, verse 1. And all the congregation lifted up their voices and cried. The people wept that night. And all the children of Israel murmured against Moses and against Aaron. And the whole congregation said unto them, Will God that we have died in the land of Egypt, O God that we have died in this wilderness, and wherefore are the Lord brought us into this land to fall by the sword, that our wives and our children should be a prey, were it not better for us to return into Egypt? And they said one to another, Let us make a captain, and let us return into Egypt. All this happened because of an evil report. You can see the effect of the evil report on the Israelites. There is a report of the doctors. There is a report of the lawyers. There is a report of man. There is even a report of demons. But then there is a report of the Lord. There is a report from heaven. The report from doctors, lawyers, man, demons, mostly are terrible. But there is a good report from heaven. The Lord now falls into your camp onto which report do you want to hold tight to? You can hold on to the evil report and the results thereof. But you can hold on to the good report and the results thereof. Something could in human eyes be one way. By the time you put on the spectacles of heaven, it's a different thing entirely. Evil reports have defiling powers. Evil reports have demoting power. Evil reports have discouraging powers. Evil reports have doubt injecting power. Evil reports have downcasting powers. Evil reports have dribbling powers. Evil reports have faith destroying powers. Evil reports have problem creating powers. Evil reports have disturbing powers. Evil reports have confining powers. Evil reports have destructive powers. Evil reports provoke divine anger. A lot of people are in trouble now because they've held on to an evil report. There is a difference between facts and truth. Something could be a fact, but it's not the truth. It's a fact, but not the truth. Something could be the truth, but not the fact. Somebody can check you up now. I said, this is a problem. It's the fact. That's what it's all. But that's not the truth. The truth is that that thing that they call a problem, there is an overruling power that can cancel it. And by the next time the person appears there, they say, ah, ah, were you not the one that came here yesterday? One rule at cancel that report. This one I'm praying for anyone who is holding on to an evil report. That whether it is convenient or not, whether the enemy likes it or not, let the garment of evil report catch fire. In the name of Jesus, let your amen be loud as thunder. An evil report is a distortion of spiritual facts and a gathering of incomplete facts, a gathering of spiritually false information. The trouble with evil report, the way diseases operate, that's how they operate too. Disease will start with infection. So the evil report comes, somebody says something or you discover something. And you now begin to hold on to what that person has said. And you begin to magnify that evil thing. And then the thing becomes bigger and bigger and bigger. Therefore a lot of Christians are falling into unnecessary traps. Those spies were sent into the land of Canaan. And they came back. What the other men were saying, what the ten men were saying, that is a land of milk and honey. That's true. A fact. They said the cities are walled. That's a fact. No problem. But they said there are giants in the land. That is a fact too. There are giants in the land. They said, when we look at ourselves, compared to those people, we look like grasshoppers. That's a fact. But the truth is that those people, although they are there, there is an overruling power which is backing them up. 
that can change that situation. So it is a fact, but not the truth. They refused to believe that truth. They just held on to the facts there and it became an evil report. When there's an evil report, and you now verbalize it in the air code broadcasting station of the devil, it will certainly backfire. He said, just as you have said, will I do to you? Look at verse 29. So your carcasses shall fall in this wilderness. All that were numbered of you, according to your whole number, from 20 years old and upward, which have murmured against me. That is, from 20 years upward, they will die there. Because they believe an evil report. So doubtless you shall not come into the land, concerning which I swear to make you dwell therein. Save Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, and Joshua, the son of Nun. But your little ones, which you say should be a prey, them will I bring in. And they shall know the land which ye have despised. You'll be saying, but why is God so angry? God is so angry because he is the one who will have fought the battle for them. He said, you shall keep your peace and will fight for you. But you are running your mouth, running your mouth, running your mouth. And then God said, I'm not fighting. And your children shall wander in the wilderness 40 years and bear your odoms until your carcasses be wasted in the wilderness. After the number of days in which you search the land, even 40 days, each day for a year shall you bear your iniquity, even 40 years. You can see what they are murmuring has caused. And this is a very, very serious matter. So an evil report can be a medical diagnosis. True, they have checked. And what they learned in medicine has said, this is what you have. That is their report. But it is not the report of evil. A medical diagnosis could be an evil report. A fearful information can be an evil report. This evil report, beloved, caused Israel to spend 40 years walking in the wilderness until all those who were 20 years old and above died. That's why the Lord said, was service of good report. Think on these things. An evil report can be an evil dream. And that evil dream comes. And you have this talent that any time you have a bad dream, it comes to pass, but good ones don't come to pass. It could be an evil report. Evil dreams. And I'm praying for someone here that any dream assigned to terminate your destiny shall fall down to the ground and die. In the name of Jesus. The fact that what that dream is saying is actually the plan of the enemy. But the truth is that it doesn't have to come to pass. An evil report can be an evil vision. It can be an evil prophecy. It can be a wicked prediction. It's an evil report. An evil report can be an evil family pattern. An evil family pattern. I pray that any evil family pattern working against the destiny of any family let them be cancelled by the power and the blood of Jesus. Let them be cancelled. Let them be cancelled. Let them be cancelled. Let them be cancelled. In the name of Jesus. Let your amen roar like thunder. An evil report can be an evil focus. An evil report can be past failures. An evil report can be a false information. A false information. An evil report can be a misleading information. A misleading information. What do you think put Adam and Eve in trouble? It's because they believed the report of the devil. Because the devil came and said, You shall not surely die. You shall not die. God said they shall die. The devil said they shall not die. It's giving them an evil report. An evil report will give you something to worry about instead of peace. An evil report will give you sorrow instead of giving you joy. An evil report will make you feel weak instead of giving you strength. An evil report will make you try to feel that there is no hope for your future instead of rejoicing that God is ahead of you. An evil report tries to stagnate you instead of helping you to move forward. An evil report makes you feel as if somebody has issued curses on you. Every voice speaking against your tree of achievement shall dry up tonight. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
Now, he said, as you have said in your mouth, say that you are a grasshopper, so shall it be. Say, as you have said in your mouth, that that land will eat up people. Say, fine, that's what you said. When you verbalize an evil report, you double its power. The Bible says, life and death, they are in the power of the tongue. Your mouth is the driver of your car. Your mouth is the pilot of your aircraft. Your mouth is the control room of your life. Your mouth is the engine room of your life. Unfortunately, people don't know that once you begin to verbalize your doubt, it becomes an evil report and it provokes heaven into anger. The priest, Zechariah, the Bible says he was a holy man and just man. He was sacrificing at the altar when nobody can enter, only him could enter. In those days, when you go into the Holy of Holies for sacrifice, nobody enters with you. And they tie a rope around their waist and put some small, small bells there to be jingling. As far as those bells are jingling, they know he's still alive. Because sometimes, if you go into the Holy of Holies with sin, God can kill the person there. So if God kills a person and the person dies in the only place, if you go there to pick his corpse, you too die there. So if the bell stops jingling, they cannot enter. They have to drag him out with that rope on his waist. Zechariah was there and an angel appeared. He was afraid. He said, be not afraid, Zechariah. He said, because thy prayer is hard. Your wife Elizabeth shall have a son. He shall be great before the Lord. Many shall rejoice at his birth. He shall go before him in the spirit and power of Elijah. Beautiful prophecies. By the time the man will open his mouth to talk, he said, uh-uh. How can these things be? When I am old, my wife is advanced in years. So he had believed the report of the bodies of two of them. The evil report. Ah. And then just said, I am Gabriel. I am Gabriel, who stands by the altar of God. And I left that place to come and give you this message. And you are talking rubbish and nonsense here. He said, therefore, you shall be dumb and unable to speak, so that you won't use your mouth to cancel your miracle until that miracle comes to pass. Words are windows to your heart. Words are the most powerful drug available to mankind. What becomes of you, beloved, is largely determined by the words you speak. And you can never be condemned except by the words of your mouth. What becomes of you is determined by the words you speak. The Bible says, no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. So every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you, you, with your own mouth, shall condemn. You are to condemn the evil report. You are to condemn every tongue that is rising up against you. Goliath cast David by his gods was an evil report. David cast him in return. However, in the name of his own God, he did not allow Goliath to have the final say. He did not allow Goliath to have the final say. Everything Goliath was saying, he did back to the center, to him, back to the center. Back to the center. He said he would kill David and feed him to the birds. David said, I will cut off his head. He replied. And then David ran towards Goliath. And that was the first shock Goliath had. Goliath was not used to people running towards him. What is used to people running away when they see him? But there was a boy who did not believe the evil report of Goliath, but he ran towards him. After he had ensured that Goliath did not have the final say. With a voice as loud as thunder. Can you raise up your right hand and shout this loud and clear? By the power in the blood of Jesus. My enemies will not have the final say over my life. By the power in the blood of Jesus. My enemies will not have the final say over my life. In the name of Jesus, open your mouth and declare it. In Jesus.
Jesus name we pray how do we deal with evil reports number one you need to become a friend of God that is not negotiable two you need to ask God to cleanse your mind of the defilement of evil report ask him to cleanse your mind from that the defilement of the evil report number three you need to believe the good report of the Lord believe the good report of the Lord if you do not believe his good report then the words of Isaiah comes to pass say but who has believed our report and unto whom has the arm of the God been revealed say but they have not obeyed say because as it is written they shall see with their eyes they will look with they won't see they will hear they won't understand then last but not the least command death unto evil report command death unto evil report when you command an evil report to die it means that that report has no value for your life again it's not relevant to you you have not counseled it from all over the world it's still there but as far as you are concerned it's not relevant to your life again so to you technically the thing is dead because it can't affect you to others it may remain alive no problem but as far as you are concerned it's dead all eyes closed but you see if you are not born again you have not just surrendered your life to Jesus raise up your right hand where you are and say what I'm going to say after me. so father in the name of Jesus I come before you now Lord Jesus come into my life Take control of my life. As from now, I say bye bye to the devil. I enter into the kingdom of light. In Jesus' name. Amen. I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Meet each and everyone at the point of their needs. Do great, marvelous, wondrous, outstanding things in their lives in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 I thank God for those of you who surrender your life to Jesus Christ in this program. God bless you in Jesus' name. You've taken the most important decision in life, and I rejoice with you. For more information, counseling, and prayers, kindly send your name, your address, your telephone number to the WhatsApp number displayed on the screen. You can also send us an email. The email address is also displayed on the screen, and we shall be getting across to you shortly. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. The manner of prayer we are going to pray and the manner of the aggression with which you pray will determine so many things here tonight. But meanwhile, bow down your heads where you are and ask God to forgive you for situations where you have believed an evil report instead of the report of the Lord. Now, with a voice that roars like fire and like thunder. If the voice of the next person to you is louder than yours, it means that you have not started praying yet. Can you shout this loud and clear? Any power on wicked journey to waste my life will not come back any power on wicked journey to waste my life will not come back in the name of jesus open your mouth and pray In Jesus' name we pray. So every power 
that wants me to wear the garment of sorrow. Your time is up. Die in the name of Jesus. Raise up your right hand to the devil is now. Father, let a fresh anointing of your fire fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let the fire and power of God fall upon this hands in the name of Jesus. Let this hand become the hand of healing. Let it become the hand of power. Let it become the hand of fire. Let it become the hand of the anointing that will break every yoke of darkness. Let this hand destroy every plantation of darkness. Let this hand destroy every plantation of the enemy. Let this hand destroy every plantation of sickness. Let it destroy every plantation of infirmity. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Father, lay your hands upon this hand. Let this hand do great marvelous wonders. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Now, if you have any infirmity in any part of your body, lay your hands upon that place now. And let your amen roar like thunder. Father, I thank you because it is written that by your stripes we are healed. I thank you because it is written that many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him from them all. I thank you because it is written that you yourself bore our infirmities and took away our sicknesses. I thank you because it is written that oppression shall be far away from your people. Father, every infirmity that hands are laid upon now, I command them to depart from their stronghold in the name of Jesus. And I pull down every stronghold of infirmity in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Right there where you are, whether the devil likes it or not, whether the enemy likes it or not, receive your healing, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, 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 Makapota leka yabo shendera bo komponde kende yaba, ribo sopo leke te leke yabo shendera bo kompa, receive your healing, receive your deliverance, in the name of Jesus, every infirmity in the head, every infirmity in the eyes, every infirmity in the chest, every infirmity in the heart, every infirmity in any organ of the body, that place is not your habitation, for the strangers shall fade away, and they shall be afraid out of their close places, get out of that habitation now, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, get out of that habitation now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, get out of that habitation now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, the only one who is worthy to be praised. Thank you, the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. 
Thank you, Jesus. Now you are going to use the same hand. Smite any area where you have infirmity. Smite it 40 times. And say, go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Smite the place mercilessly. And believe God for his touch upon your life. Let's go. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Go back to your senders in the name of Jesus. Begin to check your body now. Do what you could not do before. The hand of God is upon you and his power is upon your spirit. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Thank you, the Everlasting Father. Father, I thank you for your children who have joined this program. Let your hand be upon them for good. Mobilize heaven to help their lives. By the time we meet again, let them become greater bundles of testimonies. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 And let us share the grace in fellowship, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven glorious hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus.